Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 27th, 2023. Well, hey everyone, um, thanks for waiting for me. Um, I took off for a week and went hiking, and um, I honestly expected that I would be able to post a few things and do a little, a little bit of YouTube live, but the places where I went, there was absolutely no cell coverage. There was no connection whatsoever. Um, to give you um, a quick idea, we uh, went and we hiked um, Death Valley National Park. Um, you can see some images here. Let's see if I can size that so you can see it a little bit better. Hiked some of uh, Death Valley National Park. Um, we hiked um, um, all the way through in lots of different places in the park. And then we um, went to Zion uh, National Park and we also hiked in Zion. Um, had some little bit of rough weather in Zion, but we had a great time um, in Zion um, checking things out. Um, even went and hiked a, a Nevada State Park called the Valley of Fire. And I, I got to tell you, we just had a great time, covered more than 100 miles, very relaxing. And um, so I want to say thank you to everyone who patiently waited on me um, to take some time off. And um, I, I truly, truly appreciate it. So how about we take a look at what's happening in the market today um, in the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, I tell you what, when I when I got home and started going through the charts, I thought, my goodness, um, nothing really happened except some uh, big choppiness here in the market. If you'll notice um, here on the diamonds, where we are is stuck between a range somewhere around 325 here, as you can see here, and 316. We've just been chopping in this range. These big ugly swings obviously probably created a lot of stress um, last week for everyone in here. So today when I look at this chart, I look at the um, the potential that we have this downtrend in play and we're coming right together with this resistance level in the chart. So I think we'll want to watch this, the, it, watch this pretty closely. As you can see, the bulls are pushing here this morning in the pre-market. As we press on up, let's watch this big resistance level in the chart. If those bulls are able to push on through there, then what we're going to need to see is that resting pullback that holds that higher low. Maybe we can follow that trend and start moving the diamonds to the upside. If those bears find inspiration, well, I'm gonna have to say, look for a retest back down in this area here. If those bears get engaged, and certainly as this banking contagion continues to weigh heavy on the market, you just can't rule out the possibility that at any point in time, we hear about another threat out there um, in that banking situation. As a matter of fact, there was an emergency meeting um, this weekend that Yellen pulled together um, because of this contagion continuing to spread. So we will want to keep a close eye on this. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, um, SPY doing much better here, rallying up. But here again, you can see we held onto this downtrend, um, this right here, this downtrend break here in the market. We held that as support and hasn't been quite as choppy, being more on the bullish side here in the SPY. And that's been largely helped by tech. Tech has been holding up pretty well. And what we need to see, I think, here today, if those bulls are going to be inspired, we need to see us break out of this short-term downtrend that we've been in um, here on the chart. And obviously it's been very, very volatile, very challenging here in the market. Probably has a lot of folks just wondering um, what comes next. Now, keep in mind, we have other resistance here in this chart to be considered 
uh, here. So watch that closely. If we do break through that downtrend in here, there's still considerable resistance there to the upside. And remember, we need to break that out. We need to hold a higher low. And then maybe, maybe we start seeing a little bit of bullishness come to the market. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration um, on the day, I would look for a retest right down into this level right in here. That's where we've held before. So if those bears for some reason were to come in, um, we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Then let's take a look at our QQQ. Now, the NASDAQ, and honestly, surprising to me that big tech has been the place where everybody's been running to um, kind of an interesting situation here because i honestly think big tech is going to struggle pretty heavily in this next coming earnings season but right now we're all happy about big uh, tech and we're racing into that move now you'll want to keep a close eye on this because we are pressing into a resistance level here in the chart and notice we do run that potential that we could double top right in this area and notice there's quite a little bit of price resistance up here uh, to be uh, considered in that chart as we run back up there to take that test. Now, keeping in mind that if this bullish trend continues to hold, then we may still need, and this doesn't mean anything is bad, we still may need a little bit of consolidation out here to the trend to rest that a little bit. We may still need a little bit of a pullback to hold some price supports. When we run straight up like this in a move, that makes for a dangerous situation as we attack a resistance level. Because if those bears were to be lining up up here to defend, then that puts us in a situation of a serious and hard pullback that could occur. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're looking at these tech stocks right now. Um, kind of an interesting situation. So if those bulls find inspiration here today and they're able to push on through, let's keep an eye up here to see if we can break through up here. And then again, remember we need a hold up here to hold that trend, give us that higher low so that we can have something to work with. If those bears find inspiration, well, once again, I'm gonna point this area right out, right in here. If those bears find that inspiration, pull back into there certainly does seem possible. If we take a look at our IWM, boy, IWM has been pretty sick. And unfortunately, this trend um, here, we did break that um, to the downside. And certainly we have flattened this curve out here dramatically with um, rally back to this resistance level here in the chart and another failure. Now our downtrend in here is pretty extreme and you could certainly say that that downtrend is right here uh, now and that's a pretty extreme move. So what that does lend us for that possibility here is we're a little bit oversold and IWM could rally back but keep in mind as we bounce back up here these this could serve as kind of a double whammy in there um, on that. So watch that close. Now, if those bulls find that inspiration in here, I'm going to say right up in here would be our test of resistance. Can we push through that level? If so, we still remember we've got quite a little bit of upside resistance left to, to deal with here in IWM. And if those bears find inspiration here on the day, well, maybe a press back down here to test this price support in the chart. Now I'm gonna back this up just a little bit. Let's look at our technicals here in the chart. Certainly our technicals here in the in IWM are not all that stellar. Obviously our 34 EMA, 20 EMA, or 20 SMA crossing down through the 200. Certainly we still have our 50 above that um, 200, but obviously uh, a lot of the, uh, we're not on the right side of things here on IWM. Now QQQ on the other hand is the strongest of the indexes and you can see that 50 above the 200, that's what they call the golden cross. We'll wanna keep in mind though, as we press these resistance levels in, um, in that chart that we've extended pretty far here really fast and we've got some wicks up here showing us that there might be some bears up here building a little bit of a defense. We'll wanna watch that closely and be prepared for the possibility of that pullback if it does begin. And then if we look at our SPY, SPY, 
pushing up toward that 50 day moving average. And unfortunately we have that big price resistance level in that 50 day moving average, not, uh, not to mention that downtrend level in here. So we've got quite a conjunction of price resistance. The question will be, will we be able to push out of there? And then last but not least that diamonds up here this morning, testing its 200 day, you'll notice that um, our 34 EMA, um, has crossed back down through the 50. Obviously, we've got some concerns or worries here on the diamonds that we'll have to deal with along with those major resistance levels of price here in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Our VIX has been all over the map and boy last week if you if you ever needed a definition of volatility and uncertainty in the market boy it's right here in the price action of the VIX. Certainly a pretty ugly situation here to be dealing with. Um, we've been um, very very choppy. Um, I kind of feel like I dodged a bullet not even being here last week. Um, but we are trying to hold a little price support in here. So we may have reached a little bit of a, um, uh, well, just that potential where we could catch a little bit of relief um, here in the market if that banking crisis doesn't continue to um, diminish or we start hearing about more banks and more outflows um, coming from the regional banks. So watch that closely. There may be that outside chance. Now I think we're going to be a lot more comfortable if we can get up here and if we can hold um, um, in that price. This would be the short side move. If we got up in here and held that would be the short side of the market. If we continue to hold this as resistance for the bulls, hold that area as resistance and continue to push down, that's where the bulls are going to become a bit more comfortable here in the market. Unfortunately, a lot of uncertainty out here to deal with. If we take a look at our T2122, boy, our T2122 may be giving us our best hope of some relief and just that we've lingered down here on this bullish reversal side quite a while now. Obviously that volatility we, that we've seen here where we're getting these big spikes and whips um, obviously makes this very uncomfortable and a lot of uncertainty in here. But there may be that little bit of hint that we've lingered down here long enough. We get more of a relief rally to the upside as a possibility. And one of the reasons that could occur is just simply we're reaching the end of the quarter. We might get a little bit of that um, end of quarter window dressing starting to happen in here. Now, does that mean that we're just going to blow through all these resistance levels and everything's going to be peachy king from here? Uh, I wouldn't say that. As a matter of fact, I would say there could be a lot of uncertainty yet. There's been a, a tremendous amount of talk about um, a possible earnings recession. And remember, it's not uncommon as we approach the next quarter of earnings that we kind of slide into a choppy, wide consolidation. We did that last quarter. And I think there is that uncertainty this quarter as well. So kind of keep in mind, we may get a little bit of window dressing that makes us feel pretty warm and fuzzy inside for the bullish side. But just keep in mind that we're going to be moving in toward that earnings season and it may not be as stellar as everyone hopes. So watch that close. Now our T2107, T2107 certainly gives us that hope of a little bit of relief to the upside. Obviously T2107 breaking down here, breaking through support levels last week. Um, that's kind of a... Um, that indication that we may be reaching that um, bit of an oversold um, in the short term. So watch that closely. But keep in mind as we rally back now, we now have significant resistance levels above. We have 35, 36% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. That's not exactly a bullish case, but it is the case that we may be just a little bit oversold. If we take a look at our T2108, now T2108, very, very similar situation. We have been 
um, push down in here hard, only 19% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. Certainly we've created a tremendous amount of resistance above and we'll want to watch that closely. Now remember, the one of the things that makes the market move dramatically anymore is how the CTA is. It's the computer driven trading that goes on in the market and taking a look at that over the weekend, those institutions on those computer algorithms are very, very short. They are, they are extremely short. If they continue to press that sell button, and think about it, if the institutions are very, very short, that's where their profit side is. You could easily see them trigger that selling to push that down to be profitable on the short side. However, with the thought of maybe that end of quarter window dressing, there's also that possibility that if this starts to squeeze to the upside, you could see those institutions really start to trigger a short squeeze, covering those short positions really quickly, and that gives us that rapid, very rapid pop to the upside. So watch carefully for both of those circumstances. It, it's interesting that they are holding such a big short position here in the market. Now our T2101, T2101 um, tries to show us the momentum of the market and unfortunately we're not getting good momentum because all we've done is whipsaw in great big price moves on a daily basis. So I'm not, sh I'm not thinking T2101 really knows what's going on here uh, because of the whipsaw. If we take a look at our economic calendar for today, now our economic calendar, very light day today. As you can see, we've got some bond auctions in here, three and six months, two year. Um, we've got some Fed speak out there. That Dallas Fed manufacturing number, not known for moving the market, but it has been so bearish and so negative. Well, we will want to be paying attention to that today um, when that number comes out. Now, keeping in mind as we move through the week, we've got international trade in goods. We've got some retail and wholesale inventories coming in. Case Shiller. We've got the home prices and consumer confidence coming up. And then uh, again, that Richmond Fed, which has been extremely bearish um, here. Um, so we'll want to watch that. As we move into Wednesday, we've got those mortgage applications, some more Fed speak. There's some Fed speak here. We've got the petroleum status numbers. We've got a GDP number coming in here on uh, Thursday, along with jobless claims. Kind of keep that in mind. And then we're going to have personal incomes and outlays here on Friday with the Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment numbers. So we've got um, a lot on our plate on the economic calendar as we move throughout the week to be paying attention to. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we're continuing to diminish in those earnings. I've got a few notables. By the way, I didn't write a blog today. I'm just trying to get myself kind of caught back up here. So I'm gonna cover um, the notables that we have here this morning, and there's not many of them. Uh, BNTX might be of interest. Um, again, not exactly something that's gonna be a major market mover. Obviously feeling a little bit on the bearish side here this morning. Um, um, after their report. So watch that closely in BNTX. Um, Carnival Crew, CCL, that'll be an interesting one here today. They're trying to push up at the moment. I don't know if they've reported already, but watch that one closely. Carnival Crews, maybe one of those indicators of the strength of the consumer. And we're, we've got a lot of resistance here um, to the upside um, in that chart. So watch CCL. And last but not least, uh, PVH um, might be of interest here today. Um, again, none of these are those you know, super notables that move us a bunch, but um, are worth paying attention to here today. PVH might be of interest. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click the bell icon when it pops up. So you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor. And that's also click those thumbs up button, 
leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow share the video out on your social media feed that helps us to continue to grow and we're we're just inching closer and closer to 30,000 subscribers which really blows me away um, truly truly appreciate it guys thank you so much for the kind support to the channel how about we take a look at some stocks that are setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to need to do your own due diligence be very very careful in this market um, with the volatility that we've seen and just realizing that there is so much uncertainty out there in that banking sector um, a lot of concerns more than a, well 98 billion dollars last week was pulled out of regional banks um, that does not suggest a healthy system and it shows the concern of the consumer out there so be very very careful now looking at a few of these charts um, you're, you're going to want to watch closely I think big tech um, when I take a look at Amazon this is a beautiful little potential setup here on Amazon breaking through some resistance here in the chart and notice that we're just kind of resting and we're just consolidating right in here nice little hammer um, and a little bit of follow through may be happening here today. Now, unfortunately, that's not following this trend at all. So it is that possibility that we could still see this run into this price resistance here and continue to consolidate here for a while. But keep an eye on Amazon. You also have to be keeping an eye here on Microsoft. Microsoft stretching up here. I think this is a lot of the AI helping out here um, in Microsoft with chat uh, GPT. But keep an eye on this. This is an extraordinary move to the upside. A little bit of pullback and now continuing to push up here through that area. Notice that's breaking through this resistance in the chart. I would also say that I would not rule out the possibility that this rests and consolidates. Remember, our trend is here. That possibility that this could rest or pull back for a period of time after such an extraordinary move. So kind of keep an eye on that. Take a look at Tesla. Tesla's trying here. We are trying to sneak back up here. We've got a nice little higher low coming into play. So we've got this, this hold. Whoops to get my right correct drawing tool going here as you can see we popped up consolidated held a higher low that established a little upside trend we pushed on through we've pulled back we may be ready to hold that right in here keep an eye on that tesla holding this trend and this price support if it can pop through that resistance up here hey you may be golden there on tesla so watch that one closely um, also you might want to be taking a look at apple apple breaking through this resistance up here a little rest or pullback might be just the thing that needs kind of set up in here off of this trend and be looking for the upside now i think these have some short-term upside opportunities but once again remember guys as we head into those earnings next quarter i would have some major questions about how these guys are going to um, produce because um, their numbers haven't been all that stellar they continue to lay off which suggests that their sales are lower so watch those closely let's take a look at some other areas of the market that are kind of interesting to me i was looking around here and uh, when i got back um, from my trip and as you can see we've got at and i'm trying to sneak out from underneath this little downtrend push in here and trying to put in that little higher low so if that can follow through just kind of keep in mind that that could begin that little upside trend here in the market now why would this be working in a market like this well it's those big dividend yields it's that safety that people may be um, reaching out for here so watch that closely keeping in mind there's considerable price resistance in that chart above this may have to rest for a while longer and it may not even be able to push through there but i i noticed a little bit of a theme in, in some of these safety stocks take a look at um, kbh um, KBH um, moving to the upside here pretty strongly in that home sector again this really surprises me but dividend payers um, things like that holding up pretty well keep keep an eye on that take a look at Campbell soup now you wouldn't think whoops 
CPB. You wouldn't think that we would have something as boring as Campbell Soup in such a volatile market moving this nicely. Nice pop on Friday here. Uh, nice little resting consolidation moving out toward the trend. I think Campbell Soup is worth keeping an eye on. You might want to take a look at um, uh, Kimberly Clark. Kimberly Clark had a nice move on Friday trying to build this little higher low, trying to break in through to the upside. I think KMB may be something worth uh, paying attention to. I saw Kroger has been really strong. Now, I think it's a little bit stretched out here in the short term. I don't think I'd want to chase into that at the moment. But as you can see, trying to break out from underneath that downtrend, maybe a little rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity in kbr um how about hershey so let's get hershey here hershey breaking through major resistance level in the chart holding this beautiful consolidation higher low so once again some of these old boring divvy payers holding up quite well here in the market, looking pretty good. Now I'll have to tell you, I think the financials are in a tough situation here. Financials, however, could get a relief rally to test some of these resistance levels in the chart. And if I were looking for something bullish uh, that I could maybe speculate on a comeback here, it might be BAC. BAC pushing down in here to some major support levels in the chart. Obviously very volatile, but if you got a little bit of lottery money and wanted to pick up something here um, uh, as an opportunity that this could be rebounding off of a bottom here soon, well, BAC might be something to look at. Now, I would be much more comfortable if we um, get this rally going and then put in a higher low. That's where I typically buy. I don't like to speculate on bottoms. Hold a higher low and then show me buyers stepping in there. That's typically where I'm going to be interested in buying. So keep an eye on that. And then I would be really remiss if I didn't talk about precious metals. My goodness, what a rally here in gold. Now, gold's pulling back today. We have the dollar trying to strengthen here this morning. The UP is pushing up, but certainly has a lot of resistance in this chart to be um, thinking about here gold pulling back here today if we can find some price support in this chart don't know if that would be right down in here don't know if that would be a little bit higher off of these little levels right in here but I would watch that pretty closely now once again this is one of those circumstances where we get carried away we move way too far too fast and then this may require more of a consolidation or more of a lengthy resting period in here. But I would keep an eye on gold. Um, big potential moves here are coming. And with the uncertainty in the banks, we see a um, you know that big potential that these could be strengthening. So watch that close. And then um, I'm going to also say silver. Um, would be a place I would be taking a look at here in the charts. Now, I get some um, kickback here. Yeah, gold, and GLD and SLV, sure, they can be great for short-term moves, and I would agree with that. This is paper money. It's not real money. Take a look at um, PHYS. PHYS is a physical gold trust um, where you're actually buying physical gold. It's stored on their site, but you'll want to keep an eye on this. And what I'd recommend you do is go do a little research on PHYS. But PHYS, this is very, very affordable if you want to get into that gold sector and you're actually buying physical gold. So keep an eye on that. Breaking through this resistance, any rest or consolidation in here that holds that higher low, it, again, it may have to rest for a period of time to come out here to trend. But I would keep an eye on that. There may be some opportunities here in that stock as well so guys i know this has been a much longer video um, there's no blog this morning but um, i thought i would take some time and uh, kind of catch back up with everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day for um, rwo and hrc folks i look uh, very forward to getting back to work in the room this morning so everyone take care have a great morning and i'll see you bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.